Hello guys. Um, well, it's been, I don't know, probably, I don't know, a week, 10 days since I last did a vlog. Um, the weather has been horrendous. And if you look, you know, where, where I am now, which I'll come to in a minute, um, yeah, it's been like that for ages. But I just decided that, you know, you can't hold back because of poor, horrible, rubbish weather. Um, on the way down here, it has rained quite badly. Um, but I don't know if it's clearing or if it's just moving into where I am now. However, um, you know, it, that, that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I needed to come out. I wanted to come out and I've wanted to come here for a very long time. So where am I? I am at Cobble Point um, in Folkestone, which is the sea defences. They've got these magnificent um, defences that, you know, curve out. Let me show you. Let me show you. Then you know what I'm on about. Let me show you. So these things, okay, they just curve out. They're going out and they curve out. And at the end, you've got the little pointer. And there's another one over that side as well. So if I can turn around. So he is probably this one here. I, can't, I don't know if you can see on here. But um, yeah. Um, oh, excuse me. I've been wanting to, to come here for a long time. Um, fantastic. Uh, the problem is high tide isn't till 7 p.m. and sunset is at 7 p.m. Yeah, I don't know where the best place to be standing is because, you know, high tide, I've seen photographs where the high tide is actually up to these rocks where I'm sitting on currently. And, you know, the idea, you know, what I've seen other people do on vlogs is they, they sort of climb up the step as the tide, tide gets higher and climb up. I, I will not be able to do that. Um, I've just struggled to walk on, on these stones, little stones here. <laughs> so the chances of me being able to climb up are remote. So what I need to do is find the ideal place to be at high tide and then do the photographs from that point. Okay, so um, what I want to do when I'm doing it is try and get separation between these and the horizon line. Now, I don't know if, it, if it's going to work. If I'm, I'm sitting here and the, the pointer is above the horizon and the, um, the defences themselves are below the horizon, but it, it doesn't, where I am here, it doesn't seem to quite work. So I think if I go up, then the pointer is obviously going to be lower down. So I think probably on the walkway that's above here would probably be the best bet. But yeah, I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to have a walk around and I'll come back to you. So I don't think many people have done this before. I, it's low tide and the tide's out and it, it's actually really safe. These bits are dropped in and they're like a jigsaw. They just slot into each other, but I'm in the middle of them. Um, yeah, look, uh, and, and I've used the, the Z30 to take some photographs only because it's the only camera I've got with me at the moment. All the other ones are still in the car, which is parked just over there. Um, yeah, I'll come to all that in a minute. But um, yeah, I'm right in the middle of these these things. Um, cool, very cool. Okay, so I've got some photographs. I've used the timer. I've raised it on this stick, and I've I've sort of tried to get it right. I'll, I'll share what looks good with those. And uh, yeah, I'm now going to do what I said. And I'm precarious, precariously poised here. I, I, yeah, they're a bit slippy, but yeah, it's all right. Anything for a good photograph. Okay, I'll touch in a bit. I don't know if you've noticed, but I have this terrible, terrible thing where I sniff a lot and I'm, and I'm very conscious of it and I'm trying not to. So my apologies, this is the fourth take because of that. But we are parked at the end or parked on a place called Undercliff Road. Now, if you wanted to get here, use the words on three word, the word, the three word app, minute tested rods, and that will get you to this point. Um, we are five minutes, not even that, two minutes away from the, um, so here's the beach, look, let me just do this. Here's the beach, and just over here, ooh, over here, sorry, over here, just over here are the defenses. We are, I don't know, 20 paces away from the the sea defenses. There is another one that's further down, probably another 20 to 50 paces down that way. Um, and if you wanted to get something to eat, get something to drink, there's a cafe, there's a kiosk, and I believe there's a restaurant as well. So I think everything is covered. I don't know about bathrooms yet, um, but 
you know, um, if there's a if there's a cafe, there's a bathroom normally, isn't there? Um, yeah. So, um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to walk down that way and I'm going to see. Um, what the best position is for photographs this evening. Um, I do not think I'm gonna go where I want to go, that's on the rocks because of my legs. Um, so I'll see if I can do it from up on the walkway. Um, if not, then I'll obviously take a chance. Um, yeah, gonna walk down there, have a look, and then I'm gonna walk down the pier and have a look at the, the, um, uh, the pier, the cafe, get something to eat and then come back. Okay, right. I'll touch you in a bit. Hopefully that all makes sense. So the three words again, just to make sure you got them, minute tested rods. Okay, cheers. Okay, so I've walked down and as you can see, okay, so let me just turn. As you can see, this is not the best location. I could probably do it, but with high tide, you can't see the base of um, the, the defenses themselves. So I'm probably gonna have to take a chance on the rocks. Ooh, that makes me cringe a little bit, but you know, I've come all this way. Um, I love the spur that comes off. So, it, you know, you get the main bit that runs out. So here it goes, it runs out. But just off here, look, there's a spur, a little spur that runs off. I love that. Um, yeah, and there's another one further on. So I'm just gonna walk down there and see if that one's any better for me. Um, what, what I'd like to do is see if I can join the two together <laughs> in Photoshop, you know, one's going off that way, one's going off that way, but um, not the angle I'm going to be able to get at from here anyway. Okay, right, let me walk to the next one. Okay, so I climbed up on this wall um, and I've scratched my watch, but luckily the protector that is on my watch, um, I don't know if you can see it, I've taken a photograph, but I don't know if you can see it from there just on that corner. Anyway, um, yeah, so up here, I can get a pretty good photograph of this. Um, and now, the tide is in now, so um, on this one. So I don't know if you can see that. So I might do this one now. I'll go and get my kit, I'll take my watch off though and leave it in the car, I think. Um, but yeah, this one, I mean, the tide will be in fully in a bit, so I'll probably get a better photograph. So um, I might walk down to the, the kiosk and then come back and try this again. I don't want to be climbing walls too often. It's all right getting up, I've got to get back down again. Okay, so yeah, these rocks, I don't know if you can see, they're huge and they're slippy and precarious and with somebody with knackered legs, it's not a good idea. So I don't really want to walk on the rocks. Okay, talk to you a bit. Okay, so uh, let me just say, before I jump down, I've taken some photographs with the Z30 from this wall. Um, yeah, it looks all right. I don't, I don't know if you can see that. There it is. Looks all right from up here. I really don't want to go on those rocks. Um, anyway, um, I've taken some photographs with the Z30, both of them. I'll show all those photographs now, including those ones that I took in between the rocks, if I haven't done that already. Ah, um, and I'll, I'll talk to you in a bit. Okay, see you in a bit, bye. Hi guys, so um, I've walked down a bit. There are toilets, I can tell you there are toilets. Um, and there is a cafe, there's two. Well, one's an ice cream parlor to be fair, one's a cafe, uh, both are closed. And there is a restaurant, um, I'm not gonna do the restaurant, but um, there is a restaurant there. So um, yeah, so we've got bathrooms, we've got parking for free, um, and we've got a lovely surrounding beach with where we are now at these, this marker and these, well, they're, they're, I suppose they're groins, but they're loads of boulders that are thrown in. And I've set the camera up so that um, I can do it as a long exposure shot. Um, I'm gonna do several timings, okay? So um, I'm at, I can't remember the timings now. I think it's ISO 200, ISO 320, F14. That's a 15 second exposure. Um, yeah, I'm gonna take that one now. Um, so just focus it in, back, back and focus, just two second timer as always, and we'll just see what that one looks like. But um, yeah, I've taken a shot with no filters fitted just to make sure it was all right. It looks nice. Um, how it looks with with their, the ND filter on, I, I have no idea. It's the 10 stop filter, guys, just in case you're interested. So, oh, that looks really nice. In fact, I might, I might make that a little bit quicker, so. I'm gonna take the ISO down. 
I'm going to do it for 10 seconds. Sorry guys, getting a bit disorientated with my fingers. So I'm at um, F14, ISO 400, 10 second exposure. Just going to do the same again. Um, yeah, I've got the pointer so it's above the horizon line. So it's the, the actual stave that's holding it is halfway between the horizon line, the water and the sea, if you see what I mean. So it's split in the middle. Um, let's see what that one looks like. Yeah, I like that. I like that, I like that. That's good, okay. So we've got that shot. I'll share both of those with you now. Um, I'm gonna, I'll try and do them in colour and I'll try and do them in black and white and we'll see how we go from there. Okay, let me know which ones you like. Okay, I'll talk to you in a minute, guys. Okay, guys, hopefully you can see me. Um, yeah, the, the tide is sort of halfway in. Um, so I thought I'd get out of the car, come down, set myself up and start taking some photographs before I had to get on these rocks. My apologies for looking down. Um, yeah, it looks fab. Uh, again, the you know the the weather isn't what I would want, um, shall we say? Um, but then, I, if I'm honest, I don't know which what weather I would want. I just want a decent sunset. So I suppose there's still a, a chance that is going to happen. Anyway, let me just set up, and I'll come back to you in a sec. Okay, so I have to get a shimmy on. The, um, the tide is right by the feet of that tripod. So yeah, I have to get a shimmy on. Um, I've got the, again, I'm using the 24 to 70 mil lens, the f2.8. Um, I'm using the 10 stop filter. I have to get a move on guys, I am sorry. Um, I've literally just turned that camera off and told you that I'll be back. And um, yeah, I, I'm, so, I'm going, um, I'm going to go 30 seconds. If it'll let me. So I want to go F16. No, I don't. I want to go F14. Let's bring that ISO back down. So I'm going to go ISO 200, F15. Um, ISO 200, F14, 30 second exposure. I'm going to use the two second timer. I'm going to focus on the end of the groins. So we're off, two second timer. That is getting really close to, to that tripod. Um, yeah, so this isn't the shot I want, but it, it looks fantastic from here. The curve, you can, I think you can just make the curve out on the groins as they're, as they're swinging out. Um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully you can, uh, uh, you can see them. Yeah, so um, that's 30 seconds. So yeah, my watch, my watch got damaged, guys. I had to take my watch off um, when I was climbing that wall. Thankfully, it's just the screen protector, I think. Let's check this photograph out. So that looks fantastic. So, but I'd like it to be a little bit darker. So, I don't know why I did that. There we go. Oh, look, it's at you. It's at your feet and it's now by my feet. This tide is coming in really, really quick. So, I'm going to move this kit as soon as this photograph's finished. <laughs> My walking stick is here, thankfully. We're all right there for a minute. <laughs> Let me just check this shot. Oh, that looks better. Fantastic. Okay, I'm going to move. I'm going to move back, guys. Okay, I'll talk to you in a minute. <laughs> Oh heck, that hurt. Um, okay, so I've moved back. Um, the tide is really, really coming in. Really, really coming in fast. So I'm gonna try and get this shot. It's pretty much the same one, but I'm a little bit further back. But I wanna try and get more of it in. I wanna get it level as well now. 
It's not level now because we've moved. Okay, so we're level. We're locked and loaded. Back onto the same point. Focused. Two second timer. Off we go. So yeah, um, what I want to do is go parallel with the groins on the next one. I'm going to move to the left um, as I want to get it, you know, so you can see the water coming in, um, which will mean a slower time lapse. And I will say, I don't know if you can see, there's a load of, I don't know what to call them, but they're in the sea. <laughs> swimmers. Let's call them swimmers and be nice. It's got to be loonies. Oh, guys, that's fantastic. I think... That is fantastic. Okay, let me turn you around and I'm going to go where opposite side of you now. Okay, see in a minute. Okay, guys, so hopefully you can see me from there. Um, I've just literally turned 180. Um, I am at ISO 200 F11, and that's a 30 second exposure first. I want to try and smooth it out first. Um, I've got the two second timer on again. I'm focused again on the marker. There we go. Um, get that one done. The tide is really, really coming in. Um, those swimmers. Oh, that looks a bit nippy. Um, I don't think my... Yes, it is. I was thinking that it wasn't flush against the, the, um, the padding. Then light would get in from the sides, but it is. <clears throat> so my glasses are getting splashed with water. There we go. Oh, so good. I like it. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so I don't want it to be now. So I'm going to take the uh, I'm going to take this off. I don't want this one on. Um, I want to try and capture it as is, if you know what I mean. So. ISO 100, F11, 30th of a second, two second timer, let me just check, look at that, it's gone off again. Two second timer, um, I didn't really need, I could have done that and L, but because it's on the tripod, yeah, that's all right. Okay, guys, um, guys, sorry about not doing this with you. The sea is now around you, um, and as you might be able to see, it's now near my feet. Um, the tripod, the left, left of the tripod, is submerged in the sea. So what I'm doing is I'm taking one, so I'm to the left of the right-hand groin. So these ones here. The camera is slightly to the left of it and looking down that line. The right-hand side of the photograph, we have the marker, um, and then we've got two or three sets of the groins in the photograph. I'm doing a one, expe a one second exposure. It's coming to the end of that now. I'm having to do it by hand because I haven't got the time to get my stuff out. I've got it on time. So um, we'll have a look if that's enough. Let's have a look. Beautiful, look at that. That is fantastic. That is, that is exactly what I wanted. So we are, let me just tell you, ISO 64, F9, 60 second exposure. Um, I think it looks fantastic. The sea is now around me. I'm gonna move again. Okay, I'll talk to you in a minute. Okay guys, so I don't know how well you can see me, but um, I'm, I'm in the middle of the groins um, and I'm doing the same again. So um, I am, I can't remember the settings, but I'm doing a one minute, 20 second exposure because I want to brighten it up a little bit. Um, the, the tripod is smack in the middle of the water and it's being battered by uh, the waves, but it should be okay as the groin should be supporting it. But I'm going to go back there. I'll show you that picture now. Please let me know what you think. Okay. <laughs> so I think today is be quick or be dead or be wet. Um, yeah, I've put the... 14 to 24 mil on and I'm at 14 mil I've got as much as it in so that spur that goes off is in the photograph and um, I've done it for I'm gonna say 1 minute 15 seconds but I counted it um, but I counted it and it looks good I hope um, the sea was absolutely battering the legs so you know I, I don't know if um, 
there's going to be movement in it to be for, to be fair um, my feet are soaking wet but hey you know I've got a good photograph hopefully I've got a good photograph and it's worthwhile I'm going to share that one with you now I'm going to have to now retreat retreat um, it's getting really really cut I mean the groins are now in water um, and it's probably two three feet away from from me so the sea is really really coming in I did want to photograph the other one which is over there um, I might do it from the wall um, I did think that, that sunset was at 7 p.m. you know it's only five o'clock now and the groins are already submerged so and, and the clouds are, are that thick there isn't going to be a decent sunset so there's no time lapse today it's just photographs and um, I, I, I sort of wish I had done a time lapse but if I'm honest I left my L bracket behind and the um, mount that I use on the Z6 for time lapses is currently on the Z7 because I'm a nugget um, I hope you like the photograph I'll touch you in a minute I'm gonna move okay okay guys so I've um, climbed this wall <laughs> I've left all my stuff down there, so yeah, I'm a bit worried about the cameras because of this wind, so I'm going to be quick, okay, so I've come on the wall so I can look down upon the groins. Um, I'm at ISO uh, 100 F14, and I'm doing a 1 minute and 15 second exposure. I've got a 2 second timer on. I'm, um, I'm focused towards the rear of the groins. Go. So 1 minute 15 seconds, again I still haven't got my bloody thing out but um, you know it, it's fine, they look alright. I, I really hate it when you get a bit of movement in it but I'm being really careful. Um, I, I don't even know if it's in there if I'm honest. Uh, yeah so I, I wanted to do it from up here because I want that bit that's sticking out in it um, in the photograph. It looks fantastic and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and photograph the one that's about I don't know, it's about 200 feet that way. Um, so I'll get this one done, and then I'll get that one done, and I think then we're done, but, but we'll see, we'll see. Um, th there isn't going to be a sunset as such, and there, there is absolutely no point in doing a time lapse for something that isn't going to happen. You watch, I'll drive away, and the sky will turn red, but, um, you know, I've got what I wanted. I've got what I wanted. That's the important thing. So uh, we're at 56 seconds, 59, 60. So yeah, I'll, I'll talk to you guys in a minute. Okay, see you in a minute. Um, I've been told for many years I'm mad, but um, yeah, I've, I've come on these rocks. I, I was actually gonna walk down there, but I might be able to get down. I don't know if I'll be able to get up, so I'm not gonna bother. But um, I've done one exposure at, at one minute, 15 seconds, and it looked too dark. Um, so I'm doing one now at one, uh, two minutes, two minute exposure. Um, I want it bright uh, and I want this water to be really, really smooth. Um, and um, yeah, I think the two minute exposure will do it. I think it's F14, ISO 64, um, and then obviously the two minute exposure time. So yeah, um, um, I'll write down the settings, guys. My memory's shocking. I I'm more worried about not falling down these huge gaps between these rocks. So yeah, I'll share that with you now. Okay, touch in a bit. So I have no idea what I vlogged there. I, I honestly have forgotten. Um, but what I've done is I've done both sets of groins from above um, via this this wall. Although this one, I climbed on the wall and then walked across about four or five rocks, which was a bit, uh, I can say dodgy and mean it. Anyway, um, I'm done here, guys. Uh, I'll share all the photographs again with you now and I will see you all again next time. Hope you enjoyed the photographs. Please remember, like, subscribe, and comment. Thanks, guys. Bye.